Oh shit! Wait, we got 200 people on. Hold up, drop some. Nine people in drop zone? Okay, we got one! All right, what's up guys, so Bay Morris. Welcome to another video. I apologize this video is going up super late. I went and saw Batman with my dad and my sister today. So we got the ON boys in here, but uh, I went to see Batman today and I saw some mixed opinions on it. I'm not gonna spoil it at all. I will say, it's a little bit overhyped. Some amazing moments and stuff like that. It's not a bad movie by any means, but a little bit dragged out. It should not have been three hours. There were some times it felt a little bit like uh, I, I was getting edged for about 15 minutes, but you know, here we are. We're not here to talk about Batman and I'm not gonna spoil stuff, I'm not that kind of person. We're here to talk about Call of Duty Ghosts, or what I believe is the most overhated Call of Duty in existence, like to this date. Uh, I don't think a single Call of Duty has been more hated on for no, like no reason than this game. I mean, Infinite Warfare and stuff got way, way more hate than this. Oh no. Oh, this is not a good example. <laughs> Fuck. Infinite Warfare might be the only other Call of Duty to get so much hate, or maybe like Black Ops 4. But those were pretty justified. This game is overhated as fuck. There's no reason it should get the amount of hate that it does. I mean, the spawns were a little bit goofy and maybe they tried adding a little bit too many new features into the game too fast. They did the complete opposite of what Call of Duty always did. You know how everyone's like, oh, Call of Duty is the same game over and over and over, which that's any franchise. You look at Gears of War, you look at Halo, you look at anything, it's not supposed to be that different. Maybe some changes and shit, kind of like John Wick. John Wick 1, 2, and 3, it better be Keanu Reeves fucking shit up. It better be. I don't want it to be too different. If John Wick 1 had Keanu Reeves fucking shit up and John Wick 2 had Keanu Reeves dressed in green paint storming a swamp, I don't need that. That's too, too much of a difference. At that point, you don't even have John Wick anymore. You just have weird Shrek. But genuinely, I, be I truly believe the main reason this game got the amount of hate that it did is because it followed Black Ops 2. It followed the best Call of Duty to date. And honestly, any game that wasn't Black Ops 2.5 was just gonna be a shitstorm. It, it doesn't matter what game they made. But one of the big changes that they made that a lot of people really didn't like and I kind of can get behind is the kill feed. Like, you'll know right up- wait. Yeah, you'll notice my camera's in a different spot. I honestly don't know where I put the camera yet. I haven't started editing, but it's somewhere else. But the feed was in the top right, which doesn't really make much sense. Like, they changed stuff that didn't need to be changed. I'm pretty sure this was the first game that added destructible environments or, like, dynamic environments into the game. So, like, uh, Prison Break is another map that you can actually punch a tree and it falls over. It's basically Call of Duty Minecraft. Or this one, I think this map, like, as the game goes on, I think it, it keeps falling further and further from the top. I think that it starts up at the top there. You know, like up there and the building just keeps collapsing. This is where you'll find a lot of the changes in Ghost. You'll see create a soldier. So instead of prestiges, they had soldiers. So uh, select squad member. These were your prestiges. You can see the prestige icon as you go through. I have them basically all leveled out. I'm on my last prestige. And you had to use squad points to buy the next one. And then you have the perk system. They, you had like a point pool. I think you had what, 10 points I think for perks. You had 10 points. You could get any perk you wanted. And on the left, like you could see how much they cost per perk. Some of them were super OP. Some of them were not not that good and it was super complex honestly like it didn't it got a lot of shit back in the day but i honestly think nowadays this perk system would probably do really well because it's all complicated in any way people are used to the complex systems i it should work now people are gonna say world of war had the best announcers black ops 2 the best announcers no call of duty ghost had fucking snoop dog and yo what it do it's your boy big snoop deal double g you ready to play this game like a real g Come on, bro. Snoop Dogg as an announcer? Then, what's this guy's name? There. But uh, I forget his name. But, like, who else got celebrity cameos for their announcers? No one. Saw Batman. Here's my review. A girl audibly moaned when Zoe Kravitz came on screen. That's, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that was me. That girl was me. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it a stack. This camo is so underwhelming. <laughs> Alright, this is that tree I was talking about. <laughs> this game feels smooth too. Like sniping and everything on this game, super smooth. This is a similar feeling to the Modern Warfare engine a little bit. This is like an an old version of the Modern Warfare engine. It's what it feels like anyway. Alright, yeah, these camos are kind of ass. <laughs> okay, maybe these were a downgrade from BO2 camos, not gonna lie. Oh, and uh, people, your friends getting online blocked the feed. I remember hitting clips and just getting the feet fucking blocked from friends. Oh, God. You hit a five on and butt like your 3,000 invites you to a party. 
Other ones. Dude, can you get off my balls? Dozzy, Do you- Oh my god, more like fucking ballsy because you're just sucking on mine the entire time. Oh, by the way, anyone that saw my last Elden Ring video, if I do upload Elden Ring again, I'll probably humiliate the next- Teabag him? Is that what that means? Care package ready for yeah, teabag him. <laughs> yeah, if I upload any more Elden Ring, it's gonna be like shorter videos and stuff. If you want to see long Elden Ring stuff, then I stream it every so often, so yeah. Alright, we need a headshot. There we go, got the headshot. Oh, I died. Guys, if we lose this, I, I'm disowning all of you. I'm so bad at this game! Oh, that could have been a clip. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I don't want to play this map at all. And I think you can understand why. <laughs> so much, man. Are you not allowed in here? Wait. The fuck? They made this entire thing that you can see into, but you can't actually go into this building. There's no door. Why are there rooms in here if there's no <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this map was just easy long shots for bad looking camos. That's about it. Did you even need to get long shots on this game for camos? I don't even know. Either way, we are not playing that map. I hope I hope you can understand why. Strike zone? Yep. We're just gonna play this map for like two minutes just for the satisfaction. No! Dude, they fucking sprint at you. Oh my god. Chem strike available. Chem strike. Oh, yo, you gotta see what happens. Bro, Call of Duty doesn't do it like this anymore, man. I'm telling you. you just, just watch. Oh, look at this. It, new map. New map, new me. 2022, baby. Actually, this game came out in what, like 2014? Oh, quad. <laughs> nice. Dude, this bot is strafing me! Oh, what the fuck? After playing this a little bit, uh, this, you know, isn't the best Call of Duty in the world, but it is still absolutely overhated. So, uh, shit. I don't think I've ever made a ghost video before, by the way. So, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see, like, any other Call of Duty, like Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, any game, just let me know as well. So, yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.